Okay, guys, so <clears throat> I put the heads on yesterday. Uh, this bar here didn't want to thread in, but that's not important right now. What is important is these brackets right here. Now, in case you're unfamiliar with 460s or not, which I'm sure a lot of you are, this would be an 89 460 uh, water alternator slash smog pump. Smog pump. I don't know what I said. Smog pump. That's not right. Smog pump bracket. Now, of course, we're going to be deleting any emissions off of this thing. But, this bracket w would set us up for serpentine. Which is kind of what we want on this. So, this would be almost a budget serpentine setup. I only paid $10 for this bracket. I figured it was worth a shot. If it doesn't work, it gives me peace of mind. So, you're going to try to bolt this thing on here. That's why I put our heads on. So that I could just see how things fit. So, i got a lot of other things for the serpentine kit as well. I don't really need, this would be something new, but tensioner, so that I can see how all that bolts on. Um, we have harmonic balancer pulley. Now, of course, we can't get our old pulley off of our old harmonic balancer, so I don't know what we're going to do there, but we have the serpentine pulley, at least, so that's good to go. And we have a water pump pulley, serpentine as well. So, yeah. I grabbed all that stuff. Well, the bolt's thread right into the head. So, the threads are the same, at least, for the most part. Now, i got to figure out what to do with that bracket. So, we have two brackets on right now. This is a little bracket that we found on that 429. It's for lifting the motor up. I've only got one bolt in it right now. I can only find one that would fit. I'll find another one later. Um, but, we got our bracket on, and it actually bolts up pretty nicely. Now, my only problem is it isn't going to interfere with my timing cover. We'll have to figure that crap out later. But, as of right now, it looks pretty promising. So, yeah. With all that being said, I do believe that this will work. This bracket will work with these heads and with this motor. So, we may have ourselves a budget serpentine set up right here. Just maybe. I know these brackets are really bulky and huge. And some billet steel ones would be nice. But, if you've ever looked at the price of billet steel, like retrofit serpentine setups for these motors... They are expensive. The one I found is sixteen hundred dollars, and that is that comes with the alternator, but or that no no that comes with a pump. It don't even come with the alternator. I thought to buy the alternator, um. So, yeah, I don't think it's gonna work out. This this will work out better. I literally paid ten dollars a bracket for these. I can clean them up and paint them and make them look a lot nicer than this, and um. We get them bolted on, and I think we'll be okay, good guys. On that. So I've started a little bit in here, putting stuff in this thing, trying to get it organized over here. But what I did this morning a little bit is I went ahead and put our bolts in bags. So this is just a little tester here, but all that stuff's in bags. Uh, we lo we looked at this earlier. All that'll be coming off, um, and I'll just probably put all that in that box over there, except for these brackets, because that box may not be able to hold them. So now. We have to clean off my table, which I cluttered. So, that is what we're currently doing.
Okay guys, so I've got everything done here. I've got all my bags of bolts inside of my oil pan. We've got alternators. We have our serpentine. I just left that on there. Obviously we're gonna get a new alternator and all that, but I'm gonna take all this with me whenever we're gonna build this engine so that we can mock everything up. I've got pistons in here. Uh pretty much do you mind? Do you, do, can can you can, shh, shh. Okay, anyway, so I've got everything in here. Uh, we're going to move this from here to the garage, then soon enough. Now, what I've done with this is, could you hush? What I've done with this is, uh, that's going to be thrown in the trash, that's garbage, but I've bolted my heads on with these main ones right here. This one's messed up and doesn't go any further. I don't want to strip out the head. So, or the block, I mean. And so, we've got all those in there. And what we're going to be doing is, I bought this bracket. I don't know why that bolt's in there. That's not even for this. Um, I bought this bracket whenever I bought the serpentine kit. Because this is on that other motor. We can use this to hook and lift this whole thing up. To make it a little easier to set it on the vehicle, uh, in the back of my truck. So that's what we're going to be doing with this right here. Um, and then we'll probably figure out some way. We can probably put a bolt in back here somewhere and hook it by that. Um, so yeah. So we are ready now for the machine shop to take it. I'm going to go visit some machine shops this week. And uh, ask around about some prices. Figure out what all they're going to do. What all needs to be done and all that stuff. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it so guys. that's going to do it for today guys. I know there was nothing too exciting. We have a budget serpentine set up possibly. And all we did was really get this bracket bolted on. Um, we got our parts organized. Which like I said guys is very important. And um, I want to show you guys real quick what I did in case I didn't earlier. Just set this up here. Alright. Now, basically, what I did was I put the bolts back in the block where they went. Whenever I got ready, I just took, and if there were just like a couple bolts, like there was only like three motor mount bolts or like six of them, and they were significantly bigger than the other ones, and I could tell them apart easily. I put two of them in the same bag, so like, that's oil pump motor mount, I have water pump and timing cover set together, um, and I've got a lot of other things set together, but they're all in little baggies here, so that I know exactly where they went, I can match them up to new bolts, so, and all the camshaft hardware I've got in one box, my distributors in there, my distributor bolts in there with it, so, everything is in its respective location, we have our, um, flex plate bolts, and all that ready to go, my lifters are still sitting here. Um, I'm going to get new ones of these. So I still have a lot of mess to clean up. But after we get this motor into the back of the truck and up there to the machine shop, I'll clean all this up, fold my motor stand up, get it up out of the way, and all that stuff. So for now, guys, we are done with the 429. We're done with it. So I think the next time that you guys are going to see the 429 is whenever it's ready to go into the truck. So, like I said guys, for now we're done. We're going to ship it off to the machine shop. They're going to clean it up, uh, do whatever they need to do, hone out the cylinder walls and all that stuff. Then it's going straight up to my school where we're going to build it at and get it ready to drop into that 81 in the woods. Um, 81 video is coming soon. Uh, I want to do a, I want to do a lot with that very first video, so that's kind of why it's been delayed a little bit. Um, but regardless guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you are enjoying the series of restoring this old truck. Um, like I said, this is a much bigger project than I've ever tried to take it one time before. So, like I said guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.